Are you exhausted by the demands of marketing your small business? As a service provider, you don't want to spend all your time creating content, which is why implementing a minimalist marketing strategy might help you maximize the effort you're putting into your marketing. My name is Annabelle. I'm the video editor behind Evergreen Lane Productions, and I've been a small business owner for 10 years. I've learned a lot over the years through trial and error about sustainable marketing as a team of one. So in this video, I'm sharing my best practices, and at the end, my actual sustainable, minimalist marketing plan that I'm gonna be implementing in my business in 2023. All right, let's dive in. We know as business owners that there are lots of different ways you could be spending your time. Things like client work and lead generation are super important and can sometimes conflict with all the time that we feel like we need to spend on our marketing and our social media. But if you've narrowed down your focus to one platform or maybe one platform and a supplemental platform, it's easier to focus on what tools do I need to pay for? What support do I need to pay for? How can I best use my marketing time? And then eliminate the rest. Okay, so you might be thinking, how do I actually implement this? Because I've heard that my business is gonna fail unless I'm on TikTok or unless I get a bunch of subscribers on YouTube or unless I have the best email marketing plan. I definitely relate to that feeling and have felt that way for the majority of the time that I've run my business over the last 10 years. There's so much pressure to be on every platform, to be posting all the time. These apps and these platforms really want to like keep you there, suck you in, make you spend all of your time on these platforms. But here's how I've gone about it. Number one is learning about your audience. There's no sense in producing a bunch of content for a platform that nobody that you're interested in working with is spending time on or that that platform is not actually converting people into your business. You're now gonna focus on your business goal. Now there are a million different things that you could focus on when it comes to metrics for your marketing. I realized that I was chasing down all these numbers, I was chasing down the appearance of success, but really what mattered to me was actual leads coming into my business. So like actual people who are interested in working with me, either signing up to my email list or filling out my contact form. Those were the actual metrics that mattered to me. And so I had to just like put on the blinders and not think so much about like follower growth or subscriber growth. Obviously you can't totally ignore the algorithm on social media platforms and like the internet at large. But remember that you're not creating marketing content for an algorithm. You're creating marketing content for your person, for the type of person that you wanna work with. So now that you have learned about your audience and you have focus down your business goal. Your next step is to choose your primary platform. Now, personally, I obviously, YouTube is my primary platform, and this is because it actually supports my primary business goal, which is to get people interested in working with me and reaching out to me. So I get people subscribing to my email newsletter list, and I get people filling out my contact form every single month from my YouTube videos. So that makes a total sense for me in terms of focusing my marketing energy here. I've done lots of content in the past about the benefits of particularly long form video content like YouTube. I'll put it up in the cards, uh, the info card for you to check out. Basically, figure out where your audience is, figure out what your business goal is, and you wanna find the platform kind of overlaps that Venn diagram where you can align with your business goals and reach the people that you wanna reach. Now, once you have your primary platform figured out, if you have the capacity, you can consider doing a secondary platform. And I would highly recommend that your secondary platform be focused on repurposed content from your primary platform. So like my primary platform is YouTube, content that I post on other platforms is gonna be derived, like pulled from that primary piece of content. So that kind of saves me energy, helps me be more efficient and get less distracted. 
you don't have to start out that way. We're talking about a minimalist marketing plan. So like you don't need to be posting your videos on a hundred different platforms. But again, you can go back to that customer data and be like, oh, all my clients are on YouTube, but they also really love Instagram or they also really love Pinterest. Then you can start thinking, okay, once I've got my YouTube train rolling and I feel like the system is good, then I can start looking at, okay, how can I get my YouTube content on Pinterest? How can I get my YouTube content on Instagram, et cetera. So these are some tips when it comes to implementing a minimalist marketing strategy. Now, the first one is batching and automating. If you're focused on one platform, again, it means that you don't have to buy a million tools. It means that you don't have to set up a million automations, but you can really focus on like what's gonna drive the results. So because I'm focused on YouTube, I have a TubeBuddy subscription that helps me kind of like maximize my YouTube videos. And then because my secondary platform, as I'll talk about a little bit later, is my email, I have a Flowdesk subscription and that helps me create my workflows and send my newsletters. But the key here is really to create like a step-by-step -step checklist of like, here are the steps I go through every time I create an email newsletter or every time I record a podcast or every time I film a YouTube video or every time I, you get the idea. Now, if you're starting from scratch and you wanna hire a video editor, that's also great. They should be able to, I certainly can, help you with a filming checklist and a script template and all those kinds of pieces that maybe you haven't quite figured out on your video systems. But the point of having a system is that one, it takes kind of like that cognitive energy that you have to spend every single time being like, what am I gonna do? What do I do next? What do I do next? You don't have to remember that. You can have it brain dumped on a piece of paper or in your task manager, etc. Every time you do that thing, copy and paste the checklist, check, 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 boom. Because the whole point of a minimalist marketing strategy is to spend less time marketing, less time doing this work. And systems and batching and automations are gonna be key to spending less time overall on your marketing. The next implementation tip is to make sure that you're monitoring, tracking your progress towards your goal. If what you're doing is not working, then you wanna, you wanna shift, you wanna test something different. If you thought that Instagram Reels were gonna be like the thing, and you're not checking to see, are people messaging me? Are people contacting me? Or whatever the metric is that you're tracking. Are those reels actually driving the thing that you want them to? A lot of these, obviously, you're gonna have to test for a little while. You obviously don't wanna just post one reel and then be like, it failed, or post one YouTube video and be like, no one, no one emailed me. So there is still like a consistency to this, but over time, you wanna be making sure that what you're putting your energy and your investment into, whether that's time or finances, is actually giving you the result that you want. So here's my actual plan, my actual strategy for the rest of 2023. Like I just said, I'm gonna be monitoring things and maybe they're gonna shift a little bit, but I'm trying to work with the time that I have and the platforms that are both most interesting to me and also where my audience is and where I'm seeing those conversions. So number one, my primary content is here on YouTube. I am focusing on creating a really incredible YouTube video and that's like my pillar cornerstone content. Then that content gets published as a blog post and an email newsletter. So the blog post takes me not that much energy at all because again, like I said, I'm just taking the transcript from the video, I'm polishing it, judging it to make it, you know, SEO friendly and more readable. Then I'm embedding the, the video onto the blog post, boom. So that is a pretty quick process. And then on my newsletter, I'm able to share my YouTube video, give some context. I've started sharing some of my favorite resources in my email newsletter, just things that are like inspiring me and energizing me. Both of those secondary platforms are feeding from the primary platform, which is YouTube. As you can see, notably, there's some exclusions from that plan. I don't have Instagram on there. I don't have any other like social media platforms aside from YouTube. And while I may post on those platforms occasionally, I'm gonna try to keep it more spontaneous because this is all of the plan I have energy and time for. So 
I don't want to feel like I have to be on these platforms. I just will hop on and share things as I am inspired to. Honestly, if I look at my own numbers and my own metrics that I care about, the people who are booking with me are not reaching out to me through Instagram. There's other ways that I connect with my clients. So while it's a fun platform, it's not my primary platform. Now, if you're ready to put video at the center of your minimalist marketing strategy, you can download my get started guide for video at the link in the description below. It's totally free. Or you can head to the video on your screen where I'm gonna share what it's like working with a video editor like me on your video creation. So I'll see you over there.